Peace, everybody. It's Milan Al Hassan, Crypto Plan and DeFi Group. Today, we're going to go over DAX. Okay. So, this is the second uh, video pertaining to the DAX, uh, Mercantile Certificate of Deposit platform. Now, today, we're going to specifically talk about the statement that I said in the last video pertaining to the what Dax was talking about. Let me go back over this, okay? Absolutely not. In fact, we love Dax, okay? We aim to provide another opportunity, okay? What is Dax allocation? Dax was for market cap. Okay. What does DAX really do? DAX is a store of value like the NFTs. DAX is the same cap, has the same cap as Bitcoin, Hex. The weight Bitcoin gains, DAX. Okay. Man. <clears throat> rewards go to those who, prom who promise to stake, not sell. Okay. This means DAX rewards go to those who, okay, the last bit is important because when you stake, you take coins out of circulation and this contributes to supply shock. Okay, supply shock. <clears throat> it's pertaining to the price. You know, um, you can see the effect of this in the hex chart. So, the liquidity of DEX will be intentionally kept low. We want supply economics to directly benefit holders. Circulating supply of DAX of DAX will be 220 billion. Okay, so they have they have a tokenomics to where they keeping the supply co uh, low. Also, in the circulating supply uh, economics to where it benefits the holders. Now that's that's normal when it comes to staking, but I'm looking for something in particular. Okay, so they want the initial market cap to be 5,000. This will enable rapid value appreciation and will make sure that those who get, in, who get it early benefit for more, just like Hex, where those who jump in early <laughs> with modest amounts even outdid later whales all that said we are not promising anything to any anyone we encourage you to find out why it will be advantageous to participate in a cross-chain certificate of deposit with low initial market cap and low liquidity and understand why these very or oh, very important okay so <laughs> a low market cap let me make this as plain and simple and as simple as can be low market cap coin they saying five thousand on average you ask Ian Bellina and Bellina used to say always look for a market cap in a coin below 30 million to invest in they're talking about let me say who Ian Bellina is first. Ian Bellina is the founder of Token Metrics. He's been around forever. Okay. He took 20,000, made over two or three million out of it. Okay. So, what we're talking about here is a $5,000 market cap. So, again, I'm saying these guys know what these people know what they're doing. So, you see, just like Hex. 
close and drop in early, get paid minus. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We encourage you to find out why would it be advantageous to participate. Okay, so when they go multi channel, you definitely should be involved in those. Right? So I can't wait for those either. Example from 0 0.002 to $100, there is a 50,000x return from 10 million to $1 billion, there is a 100x return. So a bigger initial market cap isn't better for early investors. So Dax, Dax is going to launch on the other ones, other blockchains. I'm looking for one aspect that I came specifically back. But it did pertain to these transaction fees. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly what this means when it comes to the transaction fees. <clears throat> no transaction fees, no fees, right? Now, I can't find it. This is right here. You see right here where it says, what are the main advantages of DAX? Allow everyone that has missed the best growth in HEX to have the opportunity to, sim uh, uh, to get similar gains. HEX on post will not give 10,000% return because HEX has already appreciated so much. Allow small players to participate small hex purchases and small hex stakes are priced out right now due to high transaction fees holders of dex of dax and early networks will be eligible for airdrops in future networks now, i'm gonna show you exactly what they're talking about this is this is the thing I'm mostly going to talk about, but I'm also going to show you this, right? I can't show you this because it hasn't happened. But we're going to go from here down. For those who don't know, this will be a learning experience. Now, we're going to go to Tukanir. Tukanir. This was created by a programmer named Satoshi and the founder uh, Trayvon James Crypto Trey, DeFi Trey okay he's on YouTube go check him out I'll leave a link to this one also since I'm using it for a demonstration so oh, need to hook my Ethereum wallet up Had to, sorry, it took me so long, but I had to find it because I wasn't ready exactly for the. Uh... Video because I, I intended it, I thought it was going to be right there. OK. Yeah, we're in the night four. I check this out. We're on two in there right now, right? Currently, Ethereum's transaction fees are freaking outrageous, right? <laughs> I'm going to show you all. Okay. Currently, right now, as a hexagon, I know people who have been at Hex and went hard. They're millionaires, right? They were millionaires at five cents. Now... Right now, what we have is, I'm going to go, I have 
22,000 hex. Now, let me use this as an example. In Tucanera, I had, they had what's called the Big Payday. And it's not just in Tucanera, it's the hex platform, period. Me, I thought my Big Payday was on a specific day. How I messed up, I went to Tucanera. Okay. I went to Tucanera. And I did an early unstake because I was excited that it was my big payday. Or I thought it was big payday, either one. I went in and unstaked early 151,000 tokens. Yes, you heard me right. And this is what I was left with, 26,000. Because it was 86% done in staking. So one of the first things that you want to do is never early, not never early unstake. Right? And if you're in these platforms, and if you're actually you call yourself a hexagon, a rexagon, Daxican, whatever, stay in these platforms and make your money. When you get in, stay in there. This is passive income, right? Hex set the mold for a lot of platforms to come out. Now they want to copy Hex's success, which is understandable. Okay, so. This is what I was left with, right? This is what I'm left with right now. Now, let me show you just the, let me see something right fast. State 18, it's not state 22, huh? That's the thing about some of these platforms with React, you have to, reload the screen and all this type of stuff. Okay, so these are all the people that's participating and unstaking, right? Now, <clears throat> this is currently what I had stake. I'm at 100%. These are my past stakes. 31,000, which means I had more than 26, right? 100,000, right? 154,000. 86%. I was excited. I was rushing and fucked myself. Excuse my language. You see, all these were 100%. I wait till this one happened. Out of 154 tokens and mess myself. Hex went all the way up to 50 cent. You know how sick I was when I looked at this? Okay. Now, let me show you what I came here to show you. This is this is a real video about DAX and what you need to do because now you're participating in it. Regardless of what price point you're coming in right now, you got you have to think. Hex? Is what 20 cent, 19 cent? Hex was below a penny. All right. Now, let me show you something. End stake. The stake is complete. You may end. Look at this transaction fee. Usually, the transaction fee is outrageous. So, just look at this transaction fee. Right. And tell me what you think about this seriously outrageous transaction fee. And this is one transaction. 
You see this? That's right, $285 just to unstake <clears throat> this stake. Now, I probably could do it. Probably should do it. Yeah. Let's go and go to Coin Gecko. You know. And see how much hex is worth according to them. Right? Uh Coin Coin Gecko is a pretty biased uh <laughs> platform, man. I'm not gonna say why, <clears throat> but uh you know, hex been around forever. They don't have a market cap. They don't have a circulating supply. They do have volume and supply, right? I have 26,000. So in the platform, I have 4,000 work, right? Now, mind you, this is... Man, this is slow. I don't understand why it's so slow. That's another thing. Ethereum platform can be awfully slow. Okay, so it would be worth me spending the money, correct? But this is the thing. That's for me to end the stake. That's not for me to withdraw my money from the platform. Let's see what this thing say about withdrawing this 270, 77 hex. $55 just for this. This is completely ridiculous. Well, I have 3,000 on stake, but it's still ridiculous. So this is what they are talking about when they're talking about allow small players to participate. Small hex purchases and small hex stakes are priced out right now due to high transaction fees. As you see, you spend, right? You spend one hundred dollars, you you get five hundred hex, right? But you could stake it. You better off holding it, right? Instead of trying to get more money by staking it, get more tokens by staking it. Because if you stake it. You're going to pay $55 withdrawal fee currently at right for that minute. You're going to pay a $285 non-staking fee for that minute. This is what they're talking about because the price fluctuates and change every damn other second. Okay. This is why DAX is important. You have another chance to get in on another project. And not only that, you're going to get airdropped on future networks. Me personally, I only I hate that I didn't put more in. I knew about the pre-sale. And I didn't put, and then I forgot when I intended on putting in, by the time I decided to put in, it was over. So I had to buy off the off pancake swap. But I knew that this project right here was going to be worth the participation in. I knew it. It's a pretty good project. <clears throat> and it all it's already doing good. I mean, the chart has gone up. And I mean, you, ex you expect people to sell. That's normal. 
is normal with any any type of uh, crypto trade or any trade that you're doing. People are going to take profits. So I expected it. Remember, this is not financial advice, right? So, just keep it pushing. I mean, look, look at this. This is ridiculous. I don't know what happened here. They had a little fall, and then bam. So, they math is on point. <laughs> This isn't they Dex. This is Dex Tools. I was around when Dex Tools first started, which I should have invested in that when it first started. But two years ago, I got scammed out of so much Ethereum. I'm tell you, I'm an expert at this shit now. <laughs> so, anyway, video is already too long. Hopefully, you all got some good training. Got to see something that you've never seen before. And peace.